interesting pick for MTE. Last game he picked Incineroar and then Lucina. So it looks like he has a little arsenal in his arsenal. Yeah, I don't know if he picked Wario because he thought he was going into Roy or, or what he was going for. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the thought process here. Nice little double edge dance. It delays it a little bit, catches Wario dropping that shield. <laughs> catches him jumping, I like it. <laughs> Just wait and patient. Yeah, the spacing from Black Twins is, is pretty great. He's doing a very good job. Doing and the motorcycle. Oh! Yeah, jab confirms from Roy are going to be your bread and butter as he gets that jab forward air. So he's going to take that first stock. Now he's got an early grab, not able to get the second up air. I think next time he gets that combo, he's just going to hold his shield and let oh, Wario yeah. land on top of him. MT with the dash attack there. And the key for Wario in this matchup is using that aerial mobility to try and find a way in through Roy's big oh. sword. Instead, Black Twins is just letting him come right at him, and he's hit, get eating big hits for it. Black Twins just playing patient, just reading him, MTE, the whole time. The nice parry. parry on the dash attack. No punish on the double jump, though. He's just happy to wait on the ground. He's got a two-stock lead. He's safe. All right, we've got a back air out of shield from MTE. He's not going to go for the edge guard here. Straight to the up B. Yeah, this could be potentially a three stock from Black Twins, who's right now is in commanding control. Oh. Again with the jab B and Bs. Can he finish it off? There's no bike for Wario to come back. Tries to kill him with it, but. <laughs> All right, at least Waft is on deck. He can maybe steal a stock away with that. No jump for Wario. He has to bike or up B. Choose the up B. Nice! Oh, with I the can't just threw it out! Wow. <laughs> he just double jumped on stage and wafted. I can't believe that worked. What a god. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I guess so, man. As he's at 138%. Black Twins with two stocks remaining. Let's see if he can get another one. Oh, nope. That's going to do it. <laughs> yeah. going to do it right there. Drop shield, F tilt. All you need. All right, Let's so a nice little first game there from Black Twins, looking real dominant. Very dominant for sure. Let's see if MTE decides to change characters here. Yeah. Uh, very interesting that he picked the Wario. Normally, I see him with Falco. He's normally, normally plays Falco, Fal didn't, didn't you say he played Incineroar and Lucina that was, that, was the, that was the last match, though, but at weeklies he plays uh, Falco. He clearly plays, like, eight characters. It looks like he is going to bust out the Incineroar. Yeah. On his favorite stage, he actually picked this stage earlier, the Wii Resort Battlefield. Yes, he did. Wow, he even turned on the, the Wii Shop music. What a choice. Honestly, I think this matchup might be even harder than Wario Roy for Incineroar. I think so, too. Especially with just the way Black Twins has been playing. I mean, Black Twins is just perfectly happy to just wait for MTE to hit a button. Right. And then he just punishes it. As you see right there, just waits for the counter. MTE hasn't got a hit yet. Oh, there we go. The Black Twins is dominating him so far. Just patiently waiting. See what Incineroar does. Just wait right under the platform. Oh, I like that, though. Oh, he missed inputs. Missed it. That's unfortunate for him. He actually takes some damage to himself. Yep. Oh. Yeah, Black Twins is just you, bread and butters, man. Bread and butters. It's keeping it simple. Yeah, wait for a button from MTE and punish. Wow. Nice parry. Oh, there we go. There's a revenge. Doesn't get the, the side B afterwards. Nope. Nice. Another revenge. He's go. got a lot oh, of revenge he's, stored. He's going for another one. Another one. He oh. has four. I think if he hits a side B, it might oh. it might be death. Just Darkest Lariat there. just did a ton of damage. Good throw. Yeah, very nicely done. Gonna gonna finish off that stock with the, the Alolan whip. As it were. Oh, but oh. Double Edge Dance going to answer right back. So Black Twins has a full stock lead. Black Twins looking real comfortable right now. Tried to go for another counter there. I'm not sure. Maybe you read something wrong. Yeah, I, I don't really know what the option was there that, that would actually have worked for that counter. Uh, again, Black Twins has just kind of added revenge into his repertoire of, like, things to wait for. Yeah. So he's just like, oh, I'll throw out a hitbox and then I'll wait, see if he like tries to revenge the next one. 
All right, but the movement from MTE has gotten a little bit better. He's got an edge guard opportunity. He tries to go out there with Nair. Wow. I didn't even think that was an option. I don't really see too many Incineroars doing that. Yeah, I think, doesn't it send you up? So it wouldn't have uh, would have actually saved Roy more than actually edge guarded. Yeah, so I'm not sure what he's going for there. Maybe maybe miss input. And this is really bad. He's got a cross chop high, and he oh, gets countered. Oh, counter. And that that'll was, do it. That was ridiculous. Yeah, good stuff to Black Twins. I think he's waiting for that. I think yeah. he's waiting for it. He knew it was coming. Yeah, he kind of baited it a little bit because he, he he charged up the, the Flare Blazer. Yeah. And then he just let it go, and he's like, now he's going to cross chop high. 